Welcome back, Gaming Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough. I am enjoying the heck out of this season. Do I think we're going to move up? No. Do I think we're going to make a valiant fight toward the end to try to get in the playoffs? Yeah, I think we are capable of that. I really think that our team has grown. We've got four players in the 70s. That's three players. Oh, Morris is 69. My bad. And Bravo is 69. But like our front half which is really our weakest, is almost in the 70s completely. So we are, I think, a mid-table, upper-table, top team in the championship right now. I think we're going to have to get some players who are close to, closer to 80 to really try to advance. And looking at our overall, we're just... We're not there. Oh, yeah, Schofield's in the 70s. So, yeah, I was originally right. So, yeah, we're like on the cusp of having a large number of players. Sheehal's going to drop after his injury, and I doubt he'll be back with the team. I'm just going to be honest with you all. And Noel's going to be gone. So, we are, we're a lot higher up than I thought we were. Um, so, we'll just have to see how it goes. If you are enjoying the series, though, don't forget to hit that like button, as always. And if you're not subbed, hit the sub button. Yes, I'm going to always remind you all. You know, I could be a jerk and be like, hey, if you really want to support the channel, there's a Patreon. Go check that out. But I won't do it. Anyways, let's get to the first matchup. We got Peterborough. All right, Peterborough today. Jones, Pellegrino up front. Smosdix, Taylor, and McGregor in midfield. Burroughs, Knight, Thompson, Kent, and Ward. And I'm noticing their back line is a little wore out. And they got Wildsmith in the goal. Morris, Cornick, Fernandez, Bravo, Noel, and Jago up front for us. Adiemi, Brooking, Lamb, and Watkins. Schofield in goal, of course. All right, a nice rainy day for us to play in. We are at home, though, so I'll take that and thought they were going to kick it out of bounds, but they'll keep it live. We'll do it live. This has been a really interesting season. They do make a mistake there. We'll see if we can capitalize off of it. We're looking. Cornick. He'll send that up. And that's going to be an early goal for us. Cornick to Morris and back to Cornick. And we score super early. Against Peterborough, who come up with us. And that is nice revenge there. Well, here's the replay. He's done so well Corning just threw pass, and then he cuts. The great. That is great. That's just like basketball. That's what you want to do. We're doing great in sports ball, everybody. And Cornick puts it in there. The Drakes lead 1-0 early. And I, I'm telling you all, you all kept saying that maybe Cornick turns it on at the end of the year. And that's what he's doing. So not even six minutes in, we're up 1-0. Smodix is how you say that name. So I was very close on that. I'm proud of myself. Uh-oh. I'm not proud to let him go by. Fernandez, is ba Fernandez goes back and plays defense. And I don't know why. But here we go. We're going to push that up to Fernandez. And he'll send that over. Oh, well, that's not who I wanted to go to. That kind of messed up everything. This looks interesting. And we'll hit. And, oh, he couldn't come up with it. Jago's there, though. And he's going to hit Cornick. And Cornick. Oh, Cornick went for the shot. It was blocked. Thought we were going to get two there. We'll go in here. Bravo just takes the shot, and it's blocked by the keeper. Don't know why he's upset at that. That was a good attempt. Can't give him space. He took the shot. Wildsmith was able to get to it. See, look, the ref's actually wearing a different color today. That's what he's supposed to do, is pick a color that neither team has on. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. We'll get this. Go in the Bravo. Oh, he tried to just sneak it in there, and it did not work. And Ward with it. Ward bounces it off Adeyemi's butt. He's got a good run here. Our back line trying to defend. He'll try to spin it around. Adeyemi on defense. Adeyemi's going to win that ball. God, I love Adeyemi. No moves it up here. Fernandez trying to go for the run. Fernandez is through. Fernandez looking. 
Oh, and ah, oh, he should have just shot it. Should have just shot it. They're gonna break through and scope. Oh my God! Luckily, gets a fingertip on it, deflects it. It hits the bar anyway. Almost not enough, but Schofield prevents it. They will get a corner. It looks like they're going short here. Send Fernandez out just to mess with them. They push it way back out to McGregor. McGregor, Kent, McGregor again. And that's going to be offsides. Bad mistakes. We'll kick this probably a couple times, and that'll probably be the end of the half. And it is. We'll lead 1-0 with the early goal. We'll see if Peterborough can bring it back. Usually it's good games with them. We'll see. And they're going to try to go on the run, but they don't. Jago steals it. Bravo. He tried to hit Cornick, but here comes Edson Fernandez. Oh, and he just misses. Keep it low. And it says that Cornick is injured. While it's only a Band-Aid, we're not going to take any chances. Cornick out, Ribeiro in. We've got a 1-0 lead. I just, uh, I don't want to risk Cornick. And Ribeiro has proven, as you can see there, the injury at the top. Ribeiro has proven that he can come out here and play. And Ward with it. Our most expensive wonder kid. Well, slightly off has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn Interception the there. Oh, God, that's not where I wanted. To. Why would he pass it backwards? The high press was very much on. And that's going to be the equalizer. I literally told him to pass. I pushed left, and he passed it backwards to nobody. And that will allow Peterborough. There's a, I, I don't understand why Jago would do that. He literally is facing this way, turns around to pass it behind him. Oh, what a terrible way to lose the lead. That's happened uh, about three or four times this season. All right, corner coming in. We're putting Comotillo in for Brooking and Adams in for Morris. Comotillo got some height on him. I'm going to try to target him right here. And over it comes. And it went to Cornick, who flies it. We'll get to do it again. He looks like, oh, he missed it. Delivering it. Relatively straight. That is back. We'll get the ball. And that's Adams. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, Adams. We'll hit Robiro. He takes the shot. It's blocked. And we're going to get another corner here. Oh, my Lord. Such excitement going on right now. He went to take it in the foot right there by the defender. Now the delivery. It's out, but it looks like we're going to come up with it. To Bravo. Oh, it was knocked out. Oh, and they're going to push. They may have one last chance. They'll play it backwards, and I think they're happy with the draw. Unless the ref lets us have this. Bravo. To Adams, the pass. And they're going to intercept it, and that's surely going to be it. And it is. Oh, we had some chances at the end. We just don't make it. We'll draw with Peterborough. As I said at the start, we usually have good matchups with them, and this one is no different. Split right down the middle, 50-50, seven shots to two. We had a good dribble success rate, so did they. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. 92 passes. I did a lot of passing. Oh, we got an offer for Pavel Meshkov. We brought him up. He was originally worth 550 when we brought him through the court. So we've got an offer. I think I'll ask for over a million for him. And if we get it, we get it. Uh, he does not really have a future on the team. He's one of those players I just wanted to sell. Uh, let's just see what we could get for him. And we'll just see if they're happy about it. 
960 plus a 7% sell on. Um, I'll take that. I will take that all day long. Meshkov gone at the end of the season. That should be some money. All right, QPR today. We're at the Kean Prince Foundation field, I guess. Clear weather. Morris, Cornick, and Fernandez starting up front for us. Shigari in today for Bravo. Noel and Jigo with him. Adiemi, Brooking, Lamb, and Watkins in the back line. Schofield. They've got Kelman, Dykes, Thomas, Amos, and Ball. Odubaju, Barbe, Dune, Dickey, KK. I like that name. And Archer in goal. They're five in the back. We've been actually doing really well against five in the back this year, but not against four in the back. I don't know why. QPR is struggling. They're trying to stay alive. Only thing I've done in between last game and this game is I've scouted all the teams in both the championship and I know it's a long ball, but the Premier League who are in the relegation zone so that maybe we could poach some of those players. So I'm trying to be proactive this year so that we could really go for those players that are in the 70s. All right, here we go. wonder if there is a place where you can make custom uh, soccer jerseys. Just design them and put whatever logo you want on them. I would totally do a Drake's one. Look at Noel fighting. Oh, and Noel taking down. Last thing I want to see is him get hurt right here before he retires. What is this brightness on the field? I'm so not used to seeing the sun. I'm also, I'm used to seeing us do great defense and then not pick the ball up, but we'll get it. It's if Fernandez sends that up. Let's see, that's not who I wanted to go to. I wanted to go to Morris. And we should get that ball. The free kick, what? They're going to call a foul on Kordic? Kordic's like, don't touch me. I don't know about that. Move it up to Shigari. Jego. And there's Kornick. And there's the goal. Yes. Let's freaking go. Up 1-0 on Queens Park. Early on. And look at look at Kornick celebrating with the fans who made the trip. Gotta love it. Well, as you can see, he gave that was Jego. What a pass. What a pass. Kornick runs through the tackle and puts it in the back of the net. Oh, that was beautiful. Just such a beautiful thing. I love the celebration there. So Kornick, in the last couple of games, early goals... Let's see if we can just hold on to it, though. We've had a problem of just uh, falling asleep in that second half. Morris challenges for that one. KK will throw it in. Oh, Morris and Ball bump heads. And that's that's intercepted by Kornick. He's looking around. Oh, he tried to go to Shigari, but Shigari couldn't get free. We'll play this one ahead. At a Yemi. We'll get it. Throw it over to Brooking. We'll go to Jego. He misses that. And they've got a chance here. They don't have numbers. And Jego wins it right back. Jigari. Oh my god. Just too much on the pass. That's why Bravo usually starts. We'll pull it back some Brooking. He'll find the streaking Jego. Jego over to Shigari. And Shig oh, I tried it. I tried it. I tried to fall, and Shigari wouldn't do it. Oh, my God. This is a big interception. It's a second goal for Kornick. On the turnover, he puts the amazing shot in. And who knows what they're doing now. Oh, he's going to dance at the fans. That's going to be some taunting. They're not going to like that. But on the turnover, <laughs> great turnover by Fernandez. Kicks it right over to Cornick. Cornick just lines it up, curves it right past the keeper. What a shot. And he's already got his brace for the day. And the Drakes will take the 2-0 lead. Oh, that's I've got to remember to put that as the screen cap. 
We said QPR was trying to survive at the bottom of the uh, the league, and right now they're showing why they're down there. Kornick has 15 goals this season, I believe. Watkins trying to run. Can they get in behind them? Curves it over to Kornick. We'll head it over. Noel looking. He'll hit Shigari. It comes to Ensign and the keeper. Whoa! Edson Fernandez gets his second goal of the year, I believe. Pops it off the keeper's hands. The deflected defense comes right back to him. He just shoots. The keeper cannot keep it out. And we are up 3-0 going into halftime. All right, second half here. We're up big. I will probably go to subs early just to keep certain players from getting hurt. I, I don't have Ribeiro on the bench today, but I do have another striker that we're trying to sell. If I knew this game was going to turn out like this, I would have totally had totally different personnel on the bench. But now that I've said that, they're pushing here. Lamb will have to block that. Here's Edson Fernandez. He's going to push. We're going to go cross. What a pass. Morris cuts in, tries to make the shot, and they're going to kick that out. That was a brilliant pass, though. It's in for, oh, my God. Oh, and Kornick taken down, and that's exactly what I'm worried about. And a little frustration coming out here. Oh, and now they're saying Fernandez is hurt. Okay, a little rough. Time to make some subs. All right, sub for them and two subs for us. I'm going to take out Kornick and put Esposito in. And then I'm going to take Edson Fernandez out and put in Garcia. Two players that were trying to get out there, get some time, get them sold. Let's see what we could do here. Yeah, go! And it bounces. Just not enough power on it. Good pass down the side here. Garcia looking. Goes low, and he just couldn't fit it through. Oh, it's turned over! Oh, and Morris puts it right at the keeper. Just couldn't get a good spot on it. That's a tame finish. Last sub, sub for us, Almeida in for Noel. Just to rest Noel. Crowd not happy at all right now. This game's about over. Oh, and here comes Jego. Jego trying to push. He's just not fast enough. I'd love for Jego to have broke that through and got a, a goal. Play it down the side. Maybe one last attempt here. They cut it at back, and that's going to be intercepted by Watkins. And that's going to be the game. A sound defeat of QBR. The Drakes look special in that one. QBR controlled possession, but it didn't matter. Seven shots to one. They just didn't move the ball. They did a lot of passing in our half. Look at that dribble success rate. Well, it's a good thing I took him out when I did. Edson Fernandez sprained his knee, and he's going to be out four weeks. That may take us to the end of the season. It just had the Band-Aid on him. I, it didn't look like it was going to be bad. I Like I said, that's why sometimes when it just shows the Band-Aid and you think they can walk it off, they can't. So I'm glad I subbed him when I did. All right, all three scouting reports are in, so we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. I think this is the last month that we'll get Moldova. Yeah, they pulled those numbers way down. Robin Gorey could be really good, though. 74 to 94 is usually the magic potential. But we'll go through. So, Kojo Karu, not going to make it. 275, probably not going to make the team. Popsku, 
All right, Robin, we need you. Only 275. He's 15, though. But at 275, I'm saying he's going to be more toward the... Can we, can we watch him a week, or are they done? Okay. Let's sign him. We'll look at him. All right, U.S. Potential of Ethan Edwards has come down. So they're in the 80s. So not bad. Let's see what else we've got. 71 to 91 for him. 67 to 93 for Gordson. 74. 71 to 91. Trevor Clark could be really good. Let's just look at their amounts. Trevor Clark, 300K. Martin Marcus, 130, so we'll eliminate him. Kenneth, 250. Ethan, that's the, four, the 450. 450. 450. And 300. So I'm going to say they're in the 80s. I'll let Trevor go. Looks like midfield. That's a CDM for Donald Bennett. I think I'll sign him to look at him. And then I'm going to let the other two go. I, I hit sign. I didn't mean to. We'll go fix it. We'll look at him, though. All right. Cox is 55 at 17. He's just not going to cut it. So I'm going to let him go. Bennett is 57 at 16 and is a CDM. I think I will leave him here just to work on his defending, and we'll see what happens. And looking at Gory, he is 48 at age 15. I He would take a lot of work. I think I'm going to let him go. All right, scouting reports coming in from Switzerland now. We're looking at goalkeepers, 89, 84, 65. So 120, not going to keep him. 250, 160, and 250. So we'll let them go. We've got to send our scouts back out. I'm going to go back to the list. I think we'll look for wingers and... Probably some uh, some midfield people just to see what we can bring in. That's probably what we need. I, I probably should send William Locke to look for goalkeeper somewhere. We're going to need somebody for Schofield soon. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do him now. I think I will send him. Where are we at in the other one? We're in the Switzerland. Let's look for goalkeepers in Germany. I've just got faith in that. And then Connor Fagan. I think I'm going to send him. We've not got anybody really from South America. So let's go down here and do Brazil. Look for some wingers. All right, Nottingham Forest today on the road. Lolly Terragana, Silva up front. Ojeda Cafu in midfield. Bong, Mabeso, McKenna, Worrell, Richardson in the back line. Samba in goal. There we go with that five in the back again. We've exploited that all season somehow. Uh, with the injury of Fernandez, Morris is moving back over to right wing. Koch going to start today with Cornick up front. Bravo, Noel, and Jago in the midfield. Adiyeme, Komotio, Lamb, and Watkins, and Schofield in goal, of course. Nottingham Forest is, were even on the table, so they're probably trying to do a push for the playoffs. We're not, but if it happens, it happens. But let's get to the game. All right, start of the game. Announcer's already talking about the playoffs and it being a six-pointer. And I'm just... I wonder if that's why they're playing so defensive. I don't know if the computer like adjusts for you, but I doubt it. I doubt EA has put that much into this. Jacko looking around. Bravo doing... Oh, Bravo taken down, and we're going to get a good spot for a free kick and a yellow already distributed in this one. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there. He's not Oh, this should be a good here. shot. Mm. 
Monjago. Well, that didn't go exactly to plan. When I think it's going to come down more, it doesn't. I see stairs from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. What do you mean he was never going to go? I think he could have. Sometimes it hits me that I respond to the announcers and I've got it turned down so low that you all have no idea what they're saying. So I apologize for that. That's not where I wanted that pass to go. That's where I wanted. That's not where I wanted that one. That's definitely not where I wanted it to go, but this may work out. Oh, he missed it. Oh, we had a chance to go up 1-0 early again and we just give it up. See what we can do here. Going well. Good defense. They cut through. They pull it out. Bong. Oh, our defense is scrambled. Oh, he got he got rolled over. Can he finish? Oh, and we have the same treatment we've done to other teams. Nottingham goes up early, one nil. It goes off Schofield's hands and hits the back of the net. And that is unfortunate. Well, here it is again. And having I knew when he did that, the lamb, we were in trouble on this one. Keep it out. It was and just, oh, he rolled around Comotillo. Oh, why? He started falling back first for some reason. Richardson again. Oh, Adeyemi gets in the way. They collide. Coach will come up and they'll knock it out. We should get a goal kick. Good hustle today, though, I, I'm going to say. And this should be a good breakaway. Here comes Kornick. Yes, he equalizes it. And that's what we're talking about. Kornick has just turned in the God's gift of goals in the second half of the season, and we equalize it here. One all. He just had the little bit of room. Bravo, I think, found him. And he had this the one little tap, and then booms it past the keeper. No chance. And Harry Kornick brings us right back even in this one. Back out. Ojeda. Oh, he goes a little. Oh, and they've got a little slot. Lolly. He's going to go over the top. Oh, and the header is off the crossbar. And we're going to try to move it here. And Jago, he's going to kick that up to Morris. And Morris is going to run here. This could be the last attempt of the half. Teammates to play it to. And the pressure is on. Can he oh. oh, and it's blocked. And they're going to call an end to the half. Uh, so 1-1, one, one, we go into the locker room. Let's get the ball. Oh, God, we tripped our own guy there. And that's going to lead to disaster, I bet. Okay, we recovered somewhat. Oh, he slipped it. Uh-oh. Okay, Comotillo has got it. Does not help them here. Noel will get to that one. Bravo trying to come up with it. He will not. Ojeda puts it ahead to Lolly. Lolly trying to find some windows. And let's see. We don't get to. Oh, Lamb! Beautiful defense! Oh, my lord! And then Jago's going to try to sprint down the side. He's being held. And he's just a little heavy. They'll go back to the keeper. We're going to have to make some changes here. Two changes for us. Noel out, Anayemi out, Henny in, and uh, Almeida in. Bravo tripped up. That could be a card. Is that going to be a second one? I, I didn't see who did it. He's wanting him to come out. Let's see what he says to him. Oh, it's a yellow. There's not even a ball in the picture. An attack full of promise. They kick it back out. Richardson. Oh, Richardson. Nice cut. Richardson's in. Oh, and Kobo Tio just body blocks him. And they get a little bit of their own medicine. And then we're going to hit Morris. Morris is through. Oh, it was a brilliant pass by Morris. Coach just couldn't complete it. And that might be the end of the game, unless they come down here and win one at the very end. 
Homotillo and Chase, he can't keep up with him. They flip it out. I think that's Schofield's ball. It's still live. Watkins gets it out. The refs, oh, it's off his face. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We just slide tackled in the box. Got away with it, and it ends in a one-all draw. Cobo Dio with balls that fit in a wheelbarrow on that one. Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe that. Looking at the summary, pretty good dribble success rates. I've been working on that. 1-1, one, one, six shots to four. We had the same expected goals, so it works. The only save was by them. That doesn't seem right. I feel like Schofield saved a couple, and it's not there. We've had another offer for Shigari. But unless they offer a lot more money, I'm just I'm not going to sell him. Let's see how much we can push them here. 900,000 and a 5% sell on fee. Because in the cam roll, we do have. Let me look at my spreadsheet here. We got Van Veen worth 1.4 million coming in. Let's counter and go up to 1 million in that fee. And we'll see what they say. 980 and 5%. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Bravo and Van Veen are our future. Shigari is out. We've also got Noradal on loan if we want him back. All right, so Shigari has been sold, and we've got three games left in the season. We did have another offer for Schofield, but we just don't have anybody to come in for him. We were offered $13 million for him, and I turned it down because that was something I want to wait to talk to you all about before offseason. That's something he would be a move we do in the offseason. But looking right now, it looks like Norwich is moving up to the Premier League. Fulham trying to spread. West Brom, Blackburn, Coventry City, and Stoke City all there in playoffs. Nottingham Forest, that tie does put them ahead of us. We're in eighth. I mean, there's a chance. Three games left. There's nine points on the board. We've got. Looking there on the right, Cardiff City, who is in 12th next episode. Then we go into Reading, who is 13th. And our last game is against West Brom, which is a team who is trying to get promoted. So that game could be worth a lot if Fulham slips a little bit and West Brom jumps them. So that is interesting to see. I have been scouting a few players. Uh, the best one that's come back so far is a center back. He's 23. He's 6'2". He's from Swansea. Um, I'm where they're dead last now. I really may make a play for him. Uh, I'll show him to you all just so you can see him. Because I think he could help bolster us back there. If I can find him again. He is on Swansea. I'm in the wrong league, so I'll have to switch. All right, let's uh, find him here. Ben Cabango. His wage is 26000 so he's way up there. But his stats look sound. 77 defending at 23 years old. I may have to go see how much they... I mean, his value is $12 million. That would be a lot of our money but we will get money at the end of the season for what we finish i believe so we'll have to keep that in mind i don't know how it's going to be how much it's going to be so i was looking at him and then there was another player on bristol city that i was looking at a c uh a cdm let's see where he's at joe williams down here he's a little older though 74 overall I would say his growth is probably done. He's valued a lot lower, but his wage is super high. I, I don't think we could afford to pay him what he's getting paid. So him taking a pay cut could be something interesting. Because if we paid him that much, we would have to raise everything for everybody on the team. And then the only other person I looked at that's come back so far, there's still some others, is I was looking at a left winger 
out of Ipswich. And that's Tomas Kiss. And we've played against him a number of times. 23 years old, 71 overall. I'm not sure about his growth. But he does have some good speed out there. Now, we may not need him if we keep Morris. And Morris plays the way he could. Uh, his crossing is 72. That's kind of what led me to look at him. So that's just some names that I've put on the list so far. Just that I'm keeping. I don't put them on the short list in the game because it seems like whenever you do that, the game just snatches them up whatsoever. So that's where we'll leave this episode. So three games left. Let me know what you all are thinking. As always, thank you all so much. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and knock that out. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. And don't forget to make good decisions. It's gonna be May. Special thanks to these May Patreon supporters. If they were a nightlight, I'd turn them on before going to bed. Party Commissar, Eccentric, Zachary McKinley, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, Nicholas Abser, James Matisse, Azure Rain.